<laughs> oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, Blizzard done did it again. Okay, so just before I'm about to actually kick off and do the daily wordle, turns out I completely forgot that yesterday the new raids came out for Shadowlands uh, Eternity's End patch. We got the Anduin raid finale Shadowlands Eternity End in-game cinematic spoiler courtesy of MMO Champion. The only thing that I've seen about, um, not even about the cinematic, but about the raid itself is that it might be a clickbait title. I don't know. I will watch the video later, but basically it's like it. the video from Asmongold makes it look like he nearly quit because the raid is so trash, I suppose, compared to like other gameplay experiences he's been having recently. All I want to know is how are they going to tie up the ending with the cinematic? Are we going to get some good shit here with Anduin, maybe some Arthas, Sylvanas, Uther, Jaina? What's going to happen? Are we going to get any of that stuff? Are we going to get any indicator as to what's next for WoW's next big expansion? These kind of things are all on my mind and I'm just hoping that like the cinematic quality is probably going to be sick. It always is. That's like one of the best things about the WoW dev team for Blizzard at the moment. But oy, oy, oy. fingers crossed for this one. Let's take a look. Here we go. Do you not understand? This one is bound to me. Sucking out his soul. My son. This blade does not belong to darkness. It was forged by valor. Let's fucking go. And also by honor. My boy. Its legacy and ours are with you. Even here. Oh, that's nice. Let it be finished. Oh, no, he did not. Did he just separate them? Oh, he's absolutely shut. <gasps> yes. Look at him. My boy. King Stormwind. Arthas. No. Is this all that remains of him? The last flicker of his scarred spirit consumed in the forges of the jailer. No. No crown, no throne, not even a soul left for judgment. I hated you, hunted you, and with each selfish became you yeah that pretty much. is my burden to bear but your legacy is at an end be gone then all this menethil may the last whisper of your name fade and be forgotten no you gotta be kidding me What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is how they gave us Arthas. Tuned the forges of the jailer. What do you mean? He's no he's like no, no, that's just the same as like a night elf in like spirit wisp form, man. What do you mean? How can you take one of the biggest lore characters and have him be a floating fucking He's like a Destiny 2 light orb or some shit. I don't understand. And it's Sylvanas telling him off at the end. Uther is right there. He trained him. Forged him into the paladin he is or was. Anduin. Oh, okay, look. You ain't got a horse in this race, bro. Jaina was in love with him. Like, what do you mean? And you're the one who's being... A oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Blizzard done did it again. I mean, look. It's a pretty sick cinematic in terms of, like... The fan service up until Arthur's coming out of the blade 
is unreal. Anduin's losing. His soul is... My son. Big boy moves. Does not belong to Big boy darkness. moves. It was forged by valor. Sick. And, and then. By honor. I locked our oh fucking god. Let's go. That's sick. That's sick. With you. Turn it back up. Even here. <gasps> so sick. Let it be finished. Boom. Like, you can't hate on this. Look, boys, boys coming back to normal. Two halves of the sword to bless. Nice. Arthas. Yeah, I agree. Arthas? <laughs> Bro. Eat a sandwich. That's the cinematic. Overall, quality-wise, as usual, animation is 10 out of 10. Fan service was so sick, so sick, up until Arthas. It was going to be, you know, it was on track for a 10 out of 10 there. But, like, what What do you mean? This is how This is how they do Arthas. And then having those characters surrounding him and Sylvanas be the one to talk shit at the end. I get that it's, like, what has driven her all this time. You know, at the end of the day... I really can't believe that Uther and Jaina had nothing to say there in the cinematic. Jaina literally has almost nothing. I think she shouts his name. She shouts Anduin's name. That's it. So, little bit of a letdown there. That's going to dock some points. We're going to give it a 6. A 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Because half of it was 10 out of 10. And half of it was 0 out of 10. So, that, you know, that's how I'm balancing that one out. Hmm. No indication of what's next. Okay. Um... You know, I guess they need to leave something for any kind of BlizzCon or BlizzCon line reveal that they end up doing if they do one at all. Who knows what the state of development truly is, Activision Blizzard at the moment. But yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm to give that, you know, three gumballs out of 12. Whatever those are. Oh, 